Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I'm going to show you how to make these hexagon macrame coasters. First you're going to attach 12 pieces of 64 inch rope to a dowel with lark's head knots. I'm using 3 millimeter single strand cotton. Move the first six and the last six strands out of the way. Now take the 35 inch piece of string and you're going to use it as the filler cord for a row of double half hitch knots across the top. Doing the first knot is a little tricky trying to hold the filler cord in place, but then once you get that one done, the rest are easier. Move the ends of the filler cord out of the way, and now we're going to start on our square knots. Instead of just doing regular square knots, we're gonna be doing a square knot and then half of a square knot for each one. So like one and a half square knots. So to do that, you just do your regular square knot or you do the one side, then you switch it and you do it the other way. And then you're gonna do it one more time like you do the first half of the square knot. So now it'll be one and a half square knots. You're gonna go ahead and do two more one and a half square knots across this first row. So there'll be three all together. Bring down two cords on the front and the back of the row, and then you're going to do another row of one and a half square knots, just alternating with the first. Repeat that process with the next row, and you'll have five one and a half square knots on this row. Repeat that process again, and in this row, you'll end up with six one and a half square knots. For the next row, skip the first two ropes, then you're gonna tie five one and a half square knots across and you're gonna skip the last two ropes. Repeat that again with the next row, except for this time you'll skip four ropes at the beginning and at the end. And for the last row, you'll skip the first six ropes, and then you're just going to tie three knots across and skip the last six ropes. Now we have our basic hexagon shape, so I recommend taking it over to a table now and taking it off your rack. And we're going to remove the whole thing from the dowel so that we can do our row of double half hitch knots all the way around the coaster. Once you get it off the dowel, just lay it out and get it all straightened out. And we're gonna need to cut the looped over pieces of rope uh, in the middle so that we can use them for our double half hitch knots. At first, I'm just cutting these three loops on each side here because we're not gonna need the ropes at the top where we've already done the double half hitch knots yet and we'll cut those later. Now you're gonna want to pin your coaster down to a cork board or a macrame board. And I put a pin in each corner of the hexagon to hold it in place.
Here I'm showing where the filler cord is going to be going for the double half hitch knots and I have them meet over in the bottom left hand corner. So starting here in this bottom section we're going to just be tying a row of double half hitch knots to the left, just one double half hitch knot with each piece of fringe. Make sure you're holding your filler cord even with the edges of the coaster so it keeps that nice hexagon shape. When you get to this first corner, just kind of turn your work a little bit and just keep making more double half hitch knots down the other side to the next corner. This corner is where I'm going to have the two ends meet, so after this knot, I'm going to flip it around and start knotting down the other side. So over here, you're just going to keep tying double half niche knots, except this time you're going to the right. Just keep tying double half hitch knots all the way around until you get to where the two ends of the filler cord meet. Tie one last double half hitch knot using the left cord as the filler cord to finish it off. Now just go around and give the whole thing a rough trim, leaving about maybe an inch and a half of fringe because we're going to brush it out and then give it another really good trim, so just take off some of the bulk. Now grab your favorite fringe brush and give the fringe all the way around a really good brushing. I added some stiffening spray here at this point just to help the fringe kind of hold its shape a little bit better. That's optional, it's up to you. Once that dries, brush it out again and then we're gonna trim it. I probably trimmed it down to about half an inch. I really didn't want it to be too long. Um, I took a few to, few haircuts to get it to where I liked it, so be patient with this part. I have um, I didn't try this, but I've heard that you can use a rotary cutter to cut your fringe really, really straight, so that might be worth trying in this application. Um, but I just used scissors, and that was the result. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more crafty tutorials and DIYs. Thanks for watching!